everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with this really cool thing that I've been playing with literally all day. Today's New Year's Day. And I'm very excited to show it to you because I just love it. This thing's crooked. What is the deal here? All right, so um, I'm doing it this night at night so you will see more shadows. Okay, um, so the first thing is a piece of computer paper. And it all started out with this little bitty quarter. Can I go in further? Yeah, this little bitty quarter stamp. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but that's okay. It's not going to affect what I'm going to do. So let me ink her up. And I'm doing this in blue ink because I think this looks really cool with the blue ink. I've looked at black all day. I'd like to change it up to something else. So I'm going to stamp this to make a whole tile and you will see soon how I fall down the rabbit hole <laughs> because evidently <laughs> I do it a lot all right so that little quarter piece made this lovely little thing right here I'm so excited all right so let me keep stamping and so you'll see in a second why because after I stamped almost a whole sheet uh, yesterday, I decided that it needs a fill-in, and I showed it to my friends, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you gotta do something in the middle there. I'm like, okay. So I spent all day, yes, and yes, you can tell, um, trying to figure out how to make, whoops, didn't do a very good job on that one, how to make something to fit in between these things. So, uh, let's see, this is the one that goes here. E I wonder if I need to re-ink my stamp pad. Here we go. Let's see, is it gonna fit? Yeah. Okay, so I did three of these. Oh, psh. okay. I did three of these because I wanted to um, to show you this. After you do this, then you need to fill in the, I hope I got the, no, that's not the right direction. I hope I did this the right way. Yay! Lucky guess. <laughs> so, Let me just fast forward to for this because I'm sure this is not that stinking exciting. Okay, so what I did was I took this piece of paper, one that or my alignment was a lot better, and I cut out the inside. Then I laid the inside down on a piece of rubber. Well, I drew a design. Then I laid the inside of this into a piece of rubber, and I carved things. So my first one was this one. This was the first one that I carved. And I don't know if I have it lined up properly or not, so. For inside the space, because you know, you gotta fill it in. Lots of white space is not always a good thing. A little bit in small doses is much better. So then, let's see, we get over here. Oh, crooked again. Nevertheless, I like it. 
So then I thought, well, what would it look like if I did the reverse, if I made this blue and then carved out the leaves? So, down the rabbit hole. This is where the rabbit hole comes in. I put that paper back over the rubber again, and I carved the opposite. You know, the contrast, the negative and positive space, and got that. Isn't that cool? I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, let's see. Let's go back out. There you go. All right, so then... Let's see. There's that one. So it first starts out with the base, and then you have lots of empty spaces here where you can just take that same template and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Neat, huh? Okay, so then I thought, well, let me do it again. So then I did this one. Now, this one I'm not really sure about. The jury's still out on this one. I think this one is not going to work for this right here, but, you know, if you don't try, you'll never know. Let's see which way does this one go. This one goes this way, I think. So then I put the template back down and I was watching something TV and I forgot to do my pointed part here because there's points in here. And then I did that one, but I'm not sure how much I like this one. But it is interesting and it was really cool. So then I thought, okay, let me just stamp a, stamp a bunch of those on a piece of paper. So let me take this away, my little inky fingers, and then take this one. Now this is not, as you can see, it is not symmetrical. It's not where it could have been. But I cut out what was my, my inner part. Oh, sorry, start this at the bottom here. Let me do this at the bottom, that way you can see what it looks like. And then depending on which way you stamp this, you will get another symmetrical thing again inside. So as I'm looking at the inside, I'm thinking, don't I, I, I want to fill the inside in, but these are not going to do it. So after I did this, I was like, well, I got a nice little square there. What am I going to put in there? So I went up a third because, you know, this is never enough. <laughs> Let's do one more set here. All right, did that. And then I thought, well, okay. So I have all these small things here that I carved during December Carve. And I thought, well, let me give this a try. So this is like what makes a star and it's pointy. So I thought, well, let me take that and fill that kind of in here. And the only criteria I had for this one is that it would fit in the 90 degree angle there. So that's what I did. I just stamped it in there. I don't care if they over uh, they overlap. I don't care if they cross. I don't care. It was just a fun way to explore filling in the middle. So then I thought, okay, so now I've got this gap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to fill in the gap. And again, I don't care how it looks not precise in the middle. I just wanted to fill it in. So now it's filled in. When you look at this one, Get a 
design all its own. Like this. Then you can take this and go in the middles. And this is just a leftover piece of rubber. And then you can do it the opposite where you have the point going in. So not only did I get to use it for this, but I also got to use it for this to fill in the space. Okay, so then I thought, all right, so I have this little triangle one here. Oh, miscalculated that. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's no biggie. So then I tried to fill it in with this so there wouldn't be a whole lot of white in there. This still needs a little work, but this is very cool. I am having such a great time. Um, what else did I try? I had all kinds of little bits and pieces in here that just because, and I think the whole point of this is just because you make one design doesn't mean you have to stay with that one design. All of this started with this, which I built onto with this, 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 and then added other little elements to it that I already had. Isn't that cool? So then you have this, and this is the hole that I cut out. So I played, let me put these out of the way so you can see it. So I played with it with black and blue ink so that I could see what it would look like. Here's the other side where I played with it again. Here is yet another one. Here's where I put these in here a lot nicer. And then I had um, a triangle that had nothing in it. And I tried that. I didn't like this one as much because it had that open space and I don't have a long skinny thing to stick in there. And that'd be yet one more stamp. I have to remember all the moving parts and uh, my lizard brain's just not going to go do that. It's bad enough that I've been sitting here for hours just playing with this. Okay, so if you guys are ever interested in doing carving... Start out with a little quarter piece. I mean, start out with something very small and then stamp it in different directions to see what you get and then go from there. This would look really cool if I stamped it the opposite way. So let's try that one. I didn't think about that till just now. All right, so this says it's in. I'm not going to do it in. Let's do it this way. I hope I do this the right way. It's hard to see. And then it should fit in like that. So you get this design or you get this design from the same stamp just by flipping it to the other side. Let me see what these guys would look like. Uh, let's see, let's try this one. I really like this one. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, we'll probably have to do it over here. Cool. Anyway, so that was it. I've gone down the rabbit hole one too many times, I think. I don't know. <laughs> There's this one, this one, this one. Started with this, led to this, and I added that, and you know. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Y'all just go back to whatever you were doing before you started watching the silliness. <laughs> 
I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!